Hey guys, today I want to show you how you can solve any one dimensional SUVAC question in just three simple steps. But before we get into that, I want to quickly point out that you only use SUVAC equations when acceleration is constant. Otherwise, you may have to use calculus, for example, to answer the question. And with that said, let's dive in to our first example. A particle is moving in a straight horizontal line with constant deceleration 4 meters per second squared. So the constant deceleration part tells us that we can use SUVAP for this question. At time t equals 0, the particle passes through a point O with speed 13 meters per second, traveling towards a point A where OA is 20 meters. Find the times when the particle passes through A. So this brings us to step one, which is to draw a diagram. Obviously the diagram doesn't need to be artistic, it just needs to contain all the information that we're given in the question. So we're told that the particle starts at a point O, uh, which is 20 metres away from a point A. Now if we consider right to be our positive direction, then we can draw an arrow pointing right to represent the speed or velocity of our particle. We know that it's decelerating and so the acceleration arrow can be pointing in the opposite direction. And I'd like to represent my acceleration with a double arrow. Notice in the question that we're told to find the times when the particle passes through A and so that implies that the particle is going to pass A travelling right then decelerate to a velocity of zero somewhere over here and then it's going to start moving left and therefore pass A twice. So this brings us to step two which is to identify which of the SUVAP variables we're given which variable do we have to work out and which variable isn't relevant to the question. Well, let's start by writing the acronym SUVAT across the page. And if we look back to the question, notice how there are three pieces of information that we're told. The first is that the deceleration is 4 meters per second squared. We're also told that the initial speed, or the speed at time t equals 0 is 13 meters per second and finally we're told that the distance between O and A is 20 meters. So typically in a SUVAT question they're going to give you three of the letters of SUVAT. We, we're told that the deceleration is 4 meters per second squared so we can write minus 4 under A our initial speed is 13 meters per second, so we can write 13 below u. And our distance is, or our displacement is 20 meters. And so those are the three pieces of information that we're given in the question. The information that we want to work out is the time. And so we write a question mark below the letter t. And finally, the last letter is V, and it's not really relevant to the question, so we can write across below it. And so this brings us to our third and final step, and that is to pick the right equation. So notice how in, in all of the equations, uh, one of the letters is omitted. In the first equation, there's no S. In the second equation, there's no A, in the third equation there's no V, and so on. And the way we pick uh, the equation that we want to use is by looking at our irrelevant letter and choosing the equation in which that letter does not show up. So the letter V does not show up in the third equation, so that's the equation that we're going to be using. 
So all we need to do now is plug uh, the numbers that we have into our equation. So s equals ut plus a half a t squared. 20 is s. It's equal to 13 t, so u times t. 13 t plus a half a t squared. A half a is minus 2. So we have minus 2 t squared. So if we rearrange our equation a little bit, we end up with 2t squared minus 13t plus 20 equals 0. And we can plug this into the quadratic formula, for example. Uh, but to save us some time, the answers for t are 4 and 5 over 2. In part b, we're asked to find the value of t when the particle returns to O. So we're going to keep the same diagram because, because essentially nothing has really changed. But we've removed the numbers below the letters because um, our values are going to be different this time. So for example, the displacement now is going to be zero because uh, we're interested in the moment when the particle, when the particle is traveling left uh, from this position and returns back to O. So the total displacement is 0. The initial speed is 13 again. And the acceleration is also minus 4. And we're interested in finding the time. And we don't care about the letter V. And because we've got a cross below V again, that means we're going to be using the same equation s equals ut plus a half a t squared and the letter that has changed is s. So now we have 0 is equal to 13 t minus 2 t squared and factorizing this, uh, this will give us t 13 minus 2t and so our answers for for t in part b are 0 and 13 over 2 and this makes sense because we know that the particle is at uh, o when t equals 0 uh, from the question but we also know that uh, 13 over 2 is larger than both the times uh, when the um, particle passes A. And that makes sense because the particle passes O only after it passes A twice. So just to recap, when you're answering a SUVAC question, um, step one, draw a diagram. Step two, super important, note down the three variables that they give you, the variable that you want to work out, and the variable that you don't need. And step three, use the equation that doesn't involve the irrelevant variable. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Hope you learned something new from the video. If you did, go ahead and subscribe and check out one of the videos that has appeared on the screen. Uh, but that's all for now, so take care and I'll see you in the next video.